Hey folks, I wanted to share with you the updates on Comet 3i. So right now, Comet 3i is going towards Mars. So by the time it reaches Mars, it will be October 3rd, 2025. Now, this comet is huge. It is an uh, interstellar comet. It is 47 uh, kilometers wide, roughly around that size. It started with 11, now it went to 47. And now uh, it's also having a huge coma around it, uh, the dust and gas together. And that was around somewhere between 600,000 to 700,000 kilometers wide, right? So it's a huge comet, and it is zipping through the solar system as we speak, going towards Mars. And right now, uh, it will be uh, going at a speed of 130,000 miles per hour, 38 miles per second. Um, it's pretty fast, 38 miles per second and 130,000 miles is quite a lot of speed that this comet is buzzing through. The interest that I have now is, it's an interstellar comet, huge, uh, uh, really going really fast, and now it is going towards Mars. The question that I have in mind was about the asteroid belt that is out there between Mars and Jupiter. So let me show you guys, bear with me for a second. Okay, so right now it is Comet 3A is approaching Mars, right? And it is coming close to the Mars. So between Mars and Jupiter, we have a lot of asteroids and comets, right? So we wanted to see those asteroids and comets out there along with their trails. There are so many of them, right? So let me take the trails off and show you where the 3A Atlas is going. It is going close towards that um, one of those asteroids, um, it, there are so many, these are just the bigger ones I could plot, but there are several smaller ones, thousands of them, but it is zipping through uh, the plane because this comet is flying on the same plane as our planets and asteroids are, right? So that's why the curiosity is there, what it does to all these uh, asteroid belts. So I was just checking through, we are safe. Uh, it's not doing any harm to us. And it is uh, moving closer and closer towards the Jupiter as we speak. Uh, I can make it a little faster. Uh, it is coming close to this particular uh, asteroid. Um, I don't want to say the name, uh, but you can see the name, of, name on the screen. It's coming pretty close to that um, uh, to that asteroid, closer to the Apollo. These are all the bigger ones, the 16 site, the ones that I know. Um, these are mega ones, the Apophis is here. Uh, so it's co going closer to these. As it gets closer, I think it gets turned off the label, I guess, the site, and it comes back on once it passes them. So it's going a bit closer to these, and now it is going closer to the Jupiter by March. Uh, 16, around that time frame, it is going towards Jupiter, and off it goes. I do wanted to take pictures of this comet. Uh, right now, the comet is pretty low in the sky. I wanted to show you uh, guys. So this is Stellarium, and if I search for the Comet 3 Atlas, right now the Comet 3 Atlas is in the, can you see it? It is in the southwest uh, area. So my telescope usually is uh, on the left-hand side of that southwest region, somewhere here, right? And I'm looking like this, okay? But, I mean, even though it looks pretty high in the sky, it's not really. Um, so I just need to set up the telescope now as we speak. Uh, this is like right now. And then I need to make sure that everything is polar aligned and I need to image this. I might try it uh, in, in a day or two. Once I get a clear night, uh, I'll try it. But this is going to go away and disappear for almost like a month. So we wanted to make sure um, that we should be able to take a picture of it before it disappears. It is coming back in December, actually a couple of months. So that that is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please make sure uh, to click on the subscribe button. Uh, click the share the video uh, to your friends and family 
and also uh, click on the like button uh, thanks for watching